Hey, 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 here I am. It's me and me and only me because I'm looking into the camera and all I see is me. Hi. Hey. Oh, shoot. You see that? All that color in the background. Mary, Mary Jane, Mary Goods, Mary Zeritsky, and Mary Zeritsky Frank, and Mary Zeritsky Shulman. Shulman, Frank. I'm not even sure what the third Mary is. I know it finishes with good, good God, right? Or it's good, G-U-D. But when they moved from somewhere in Hungary, somewhere out there, and there's still one of them that remembers. He's like was in the moonshine business early in time. Mary Jane, how would if I told you like this? Rock her, rock him, her man, and warn her. Beeline and warn her, coming off of the second Paisley, to watch out and beeline and warn her because it's too much. Six chicken houses with two floors. That's 12 floors. Six on the first on the ground floor and six that are above. But the one that's above has the roof. But the one that's below has the ground. And the chicken, she's on top of the rooster. So what am I talking about? Roxanne, which is the golden AX, which is the Annex Angel, Angel X24. Two and four, the reader, the cat's life, the big bad cat, the big bad wolf, the big red dog. Not because I say so, because the numbers come out and that's what they tell me. I read from the numbers and I let the numbers tell me the story. Can I be wrong? I may not implicate the correct answer, but the definitions for everything I say are perfect. Perfect. It's a little rough, but it's perfect. So being rough, I keep the dog on the right. Being perfect, I keep the cat. Well, I'm going to have to keep the cat up here. Unless it's the raccoon hat I put up here. Now, I'm not sure why we have a raccoon angel resident, O-O-N, moon coon angel resident. Wearing what on his head? Herman. There were two Hermans. One beeline. Duh. Angel creation delta. Because you got to have an angle. you got to connect the lines to have a delta angle. Delta, you are delta. But because you are the full life of delta, that season speaks. You are the six delta. Okay? And you are the six delta. Okay? Because it's four and eight. Two and six, the doghouse of Zelta, DZ. La Dez. The female part of angel that comes within you, plugging up 12 moons to have one moon in between the two moons. Although it's a half moon, she runs on full moons. How do I know? I don't know. Do my eyes turn around? Are they eyeballs? What are my nuts doing? I don't know. Roxanne, the ornament. You put that X in there and it connects one, two, three, four. But if you put these, these two wires, you have to have a sheath, a condom on it. If you don't have a condom on your wire and these two wires, they'll cross connect and short circuit. I'm assuming that's what bipolar is. They told me to have a lot of salmon oil then they tell me they're giving me lithium so that my brain doesn't dry out and then the salt keeps it connected. But if you only get salt and you have no oil, you will burn the neurons in your brain. So whatever medication they're telling you, if you don't feed the source correctly, the medication eventually will take you away on a short highway. And the only thing that it will say to you is the thought you have right now at this moment because we never die. If you never think about death once you die, you never knew it before because you never thought about it. So they show you enough of it so that when you exalt yourself in all the wrong ways and all the wrong choices, eventually a lot of us pay. There's a lot of us in debt and we're paying for it. Are we enjoying having the debt to pay for it to know that we give away what we work so hard for just because somebody else says I owe them because I signed a contract? Let's forget about this. The Rock and the Herman, Herman, Mr. Herman, 
born in the same house as me, Roxanne, or the house next door, but on the same property. The brother of the father of two Hermans, they said to warn her, was born in my bedroom because I shared it with my brother. Small house, it's still there. It's one of the only houses in the whole city of where I was born, where the house is still standing unoccupied and with no doors, electricity, or running water. Pretty crazy. They knocked down my grandparents' house the minute they sold it. Instead of keeping it, they just knocked it down. They've asked everybody to clean up their houses and occupy their house. But that house, they have not touched. I was born in that house. The cemetery where I will be buried is behind that house. I've worked across behind and in front of that house. And today, it's less than six miles to seven miles away from the gateway, in which is down the street from the shul, the synagogue they call the House of Jacob, which is a five-minute walk from the river they call the Jordan River. If we wanted to go to Mount Sinai, we'd get on Highway Area 51 and take it north. We have Mount Sinai up in the area of, of St. August of St. Agath. St. August. St. Augustine in which we have a St. Augustine all the same, which is about seven to 10 miles on that side of my house. What did I come on to say? This is just one word that was spoken to me, a little help from my friend and yeah, dirty, so what? If I had to go to work every single day to drive a truck, I would never have one minute to ever think about this and what I do right now. For me, it's very important. What we do in our life and what we find important, some people can never take it this way because that's what pays your life. So if I didn't have the opportunity in which is working against me and for me, I'm not sure which way I'd rather be, but I'd rather know about what I've learned in the last 10 years and say, okay, I got bipolar. But you see, like I said, with the salt and all this medication they're giving you, your body, they're giving it for your mind, but your body takes it, and it's your body that services it. Oh, uh, Seroquel, 200 grams, yeah, we'll let out a little bit at a time. Don't want to dissolve our minds, right? Because if you let out 200, gra 200 milligrams at a time, I'll be walking like this. But I won't feel it because I'll be in bed five minutes later. That was the first time I ever touched a pill. Then they put it up and I was still like this. Every single night, sometimes I don't even know how much I eat out of my fridge. I wake up the next day, there's nothing there. Because these pills are so great. No, they don't make you forget. They just don't wake you up. So how do you want to remember if you don't know what's going on when you're half asleep while you're walking towards the fridge? I think I forgot my book. I did show you this. I got a court date for my license. Okay. Jack. St. Jerome. See the way he's holding the balance? And the, thing, and the thing on top of his head? That would be me. See, this is one side. This is the other side. Okay. These two are not together because you cannot rock the boat. Anyways, so much and so little said at the same time. Raphael 7286 and a constellation of Pegasus. Can someone call me? and Because and, 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 uh, I can't find my phone. Thank you for watching. Is there anything I missed? Hmm. You know what I do like about um, my permit? It says 041-06306. Um, and it starts, and in my license... Um, there's a seven and 704 that comes together, and that's just like 714. And since 714 is in there, that'll make another area, because the minute you put a 1 inside the 0, it makes two zeros. So you got two halves, so it opens up. Anyways, when the half of zeros open up, I do want to, I just want to show you something. See, when you take 0, right, and you put 1 inside of it, when this opens up, imagine there was a, a thing over here and a thing over here, and this opens up. So when that opens up, it goes... One over here, and it goes one over here. Okay, like the Pac-Man. And this is what's inside of it, okay? This is the core that's inside of it. So then you have one here, and one here. So you have one V, one life. This one is in the center because it's the division. The Hebrews put one here, 
or you put it here, it's the sin or the shin. If you run off one more, the continuation, okay, or the continuation, okay, because we would live on this side. The continuation division is this side. We need another circle over here now. For every area you space, you must always have a circle, and then we square it off, okay? We have the circle over here, we square it off, and now we would look at it this way. Here's your T. Now, if you take a look at it, see the person over here with the ball on that side? Now you start to build a person with the legs, right? You got that leg over here and that leg over here. This becomes your ass, okay? This becomes the center of your heart, but you cannot have a heart here. Your heart is here. Your angel is in your heart. We're only human, and we began to see before we come out of our head and see something, we already see it in our head. The intuition is because the Delta Angel is with inside the four areas of knowledge, which is the perception. Raphael, 7286 in the constellation of Pegasus. That was weird. Do you want to see something weird? Okay. See these two 11s over here? See that? All right? Now, when I move it back... Um, oh, no, it's on the wrong side. Sorry. When you move it back, there was something down on the other side that was white, and it showed up as 111. Another thing I wanted to say, this guy... This gentleman, Normand Courcel, who's been working for my father, brother, etc., family for over 52 years. 52, the name of man. His phone number reflects itself. 438, becoming the church, 2411, 4 by 3 is 1911. Equals 30 creation. These are the numbers that come out of his phone number. And his last two numbers is 5 times 8. 5 plus 8 equals 40 and 13 equals 53, and his number is 435, 58. I didn't tell you any of the numbers in order, but his number all reflects himself. His kids, they, I mean, you're probably going to ask me, why am I telling you this? I'm not I'm telling me this. I'm doing this video for me. But in order for me to broaden my vision, and wake up and to have more memory, you are watching with your perception and understanding, whatever you say to me, okay, or remind me of something, will get me to open up an area that I did not ask. How did I not know to ask myself that question? I was supposed to know about the elements, the zodiac, the elements in the zodiac. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, George for waking me up, because that's the part of the memory I only had to wake up once the question was asked. I don't have the question, I don't have to remember anything. But when you ask me the question, I'll remember. I'm not thinking of time, but if you ask me how many minutes or in an hour, I'll say 60. I'm not sure what to do next. But by your comments and by your, your, your implication within this Knights of the Round Table, between us, this is where I can go. I might say something that opens up a question that you never asked yourself. Oh my God, I can't believe I never thought of it. Now you do. Now the next time somebody says, you don't have to try it. Well, I hope I don't forget. For all my 10 years that I've been bipolar, my biggest thing is, and it's still a little there, I don't want to forget. But I figured it out that everybody else in this world is my memory. All you need is the time for whatever they've said to you, okay, to do whatever you need to do. Because if we're remembering, why are we remembering something? I need to remember how to drive my car. I need to remember how to say the alphabet. So when I do certain situations, I can use the alphabet. If I need to go somewhere, I'll know how to drive my car. I need to know the bus schedule. And if I don't need to know the bus schedule, I need to know where the bus stop is. I just can't stand here and say I need a bus. Because then I'd be genie. I'd be witched. So you need to know. But we all forget. We don't try to remember until we need to. We get to the post office. We figure we're going to mail a letter or pick something up, deliver somebody. But at least we know when we get to the post office, we know what happens there. The mail comes in. But you weren't thinking about last that last night, right, while you were in the shower with your wife? You weren't thinking about the postman, were you? Or maybe you were the postman. That'd be bringing up Steve. 
right? He'd be the postman. He was also the garbage man. One of my best friends is, was a postman and a garbage man. Holy shit. I feel like I'm watching Mr. Dress Up now. He's over six foot tall. Never mind six foot. He's got inches to go with that. And not two. Maybe four or five. I think he's shrinking. Lost a little bit of his hair. So I guess from six eight with that little frizzy haircut he used to have. Now he's about six four. But he stands up for his rights. And he deals with people properly. Raphael, 70 to 86 in a constellation of Pegasus. You have other things to do. Go.